Hello and welcome back to our Stationeers Mars Survival Guide and in this episode I will be building displays for this furnace. The displays will show the pressure, the temperature and the th product being used. So as you can see here, there's a little bit snippet of what it should look like. They're pretty simple, not really that fancy, but for example when you stick it in, you can see what is being produced, like ingot silicone, you saw that for a second. Alright, with that further thing taken out, let's go into the building. So. First things first, I want to be building a couple of, uh, you know, steel frames that I will be placing on top because uh, it's not, uh, our furnace is not high enough, the wall behind it, so, and the panels that I want to install need to be on something solid. So I'm going to build a couple more steel sheets using the nicely assembled uh, practical stacker that I have shown in the previous episode. Those guys, if you haven't seen it, you, are, you will get a link onto the card in the top right corner right about now. So, other than that, uh, we will be, as I said, we will be building the steel frame. One more. And the dawn comes, so our building will be done during the day glorious isn't it all right there we go so while we're waiting i have also put some copper to be smelted because i will be creating the circuit boards and all those electronical components and we will need them so that's why you can see the arc furnace you know burning copper in the background a copper takes some time to burn so that's the reason all right so Another thing that I need to do is I need to move this exhaust from the top basically to the back because I plan to stack another three, um, you know, steel frames. By the way, guys, I'm really sorry that I haven't been posting stationers for a while. Uh, the, the, my excuse was that I was traveling and I didn't have so many queued up because I was doing the performance analysis on the beta. By the way, this is beta that you're seeing and as you can see, I have locked it to 60 FPS because I'm recording at 60 FPS so that it looks kind of nice and fluid for you. Alright, so otherwise the beta performs really nice, I'm pretty happy with overall how it goes, I mean, and yeah, sometimes dances a little bit more, but yeah, all in all I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, right, so after I've moved those, I plan to put the steel frames, one, two, come on, and three. Yeah, so this wall will basically be a wall for building the frames. So, and I need to put this exhaust from this pipe somewhere. So I was actually thinking putting it on the back, but I don't want to put it on, you know, an eye level because I don't, nobody wants to get a hot air right in the face. So, as I said, I will be continuing the series and uh, I have a lot of plans what to do. It was just a matter of, I was actually out of country for 14 days and my videos were posting on, every, I scheduled them so that you guys do not notice. Long story short, uh, I was going to, you know, Croatia Seaside and I was actually buying a summer house. Yeah, the whole project last year was selling the old summer house and trying to buy a new one, which finally we succeeded. So I'm exceedingly happy to be able to do that. Now, that being said, uh, going forward, I will be putting in uh, the displays. So first set of displays is what we're building today. That's the, the displays that you saw. The, those are for the pressure, the product being produced in the furnace and the, uh, and the temperature. Then I'm planning to build a second set of panels, one for the input, which will be telling me how much, uh, how much, uh, oxidizers or sorry oxidizer how much uh, volatiles and uh, oxides we have in those tanks so we know how much fuel we have and also the state of how much pressure and temperature of the gas are in the exhaust tank so that we know how to reuse it when we can and when we want to uh, that's the second set of panels come a little bit later on Another thing that I had planned was uh, the automatic ejector. So, and that's something like when you're making uh, in the advanced furnace some sort of alloy. The moment the hash of that alloy becomes available, that 
the logic will just pop up the handle so it will um, automatically eject the content of the of the furnace uh, that will actually make it a little bit easier for me the moment that some for example heavy um, alloys being made like I don't know Invarm or even more like Estraloy, Stellite and what others uh, the moment we have reached the favorable conditions the logic and not me shall be pulling up the lever and ejecting the ejecting the contents into the world so that's my plan and then further down I was thinking to link it of course with the vending machine and all that jazz but now we are talking many episodes forward because honestly guys I've never worked with those so I'm still getting used to it on the plus side, uh, that means while we're burning stuff, we have been accumulating a lot of CO2 and I'm actually thinking of, uh, you know, introducing a little bit of CO2 directly into our uh, greenhouse because the greenhouse is actually requiring CO2 for the plant so that they can, you know, grow nicely. So rather than just inserting whatever mix we can, it would be even better if we could insert the clean CO2. Right, so... The, what are we doing now? We are creating the custom panels. We are creating two gas displays and then one hash display. So to create those panels, as we said, we need control panel, three pieces. We need two gas control and one hash display circuit board. And then we will need a total of three, uh, what is it called? Three uh, glass uh, panels to be able to close it off. So here we have three control panels gas display yeah gas display good hash display thank you and then we need the last which would be the glass panels and those should be produced in the auto lathe so let's just queue them glass not steel light just the regular glass thank you that will do one two three and four well we can make all four i mean no need for anything else and let's spit it out sunny there you go i'm pretty sure i have them somewhere but for me it's just more easy and convenient to actually build them this way yeah all right that being said let's go and construct our panels now and this actually panel setup is quite easy and uh, the reason for me building it is because i don't want to be looking at the pressure valve on the furnace the whole time so let's see we put it here yeah one two three there we go beautiful so on the left hand side i'm going to have the pressure on the right hand side i'm going to have the temperature and in the middle i'm going to have the hash of the thing that i'm supposed to be building good now let's close off these panels with the glass sheets one two three beautiful and now we need to connect it, them to the furnace because the furnace has the data port from which we will be pulling these information. So, okay, circle, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Then we set another one, junction. Here we go, another junction. Yep. And then I will be taking the cable down here and connecting it to the furnace or the advanced furnace that is, I'm sorry. The shoots I'm not yet connecting because I really don't feel like I should be connecting them yet. There we go. And as you can see, the data port on the furnace is already connected, meaning the data will already be available. The good thing about this setup is you don't need any additional logic circuits at the moment to be able to do this. So that's why I like it. That's why it's so simple and um, it's very handy actually. Now, that thing being said, let's take, uh, let us just jump up and uh, we need to, I'm going to turn on the furnace because I want to be testing this thing. Data disk, we shove it in. Okay, come on, slot it. Yeah, turn it on. There we go. And, oh, uh, it's too far away. Let's just jump here. The mode is pressure, which is correct. And we have an advanced furnace. There we go. Mode pressure, advanced furnace. Take it out, Sunny. Pressure zero kilopascal. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Turn it on. Mode temperature. Advanced furnace again. Thank you. There we go. And then the third one will be the hash. 
and for that we have only advanced furnace there we go I don't know if it accepted I think it did uh, yeah all right I'm gonna assume that it did. it did advanced furnace okay good so all of them three say console well that's not something that I really like I would like to say what it is and it is furnace so what I'm gonna be putting here is I'm gonna be putting furnace so that we know the furnace pressure because we will have multiple consoles right now it is like for those of you that are telling me you know duh ground forks it's only this thing but imagine if i add like five more consoles and some of them will be the input tank some of them will be the output tank then it makes sense to actually rename it all right and here's the, like the furnace result good and that's pretty much it guys it's it's really that simple so no reason whatsoever not to put those so as you can see you put in a little bit of gas output is 100 liters and uh, yeah so right now it's set to output everything let's see i want to be testing this a little bit so i'm not going to put the out volume pump but the input volume pump i'm going to be pressing so there you go which means the pressure should be building and it is good see and it's being filled with fuel so i've stopped the fuel and if i ignite it huh, oh wow we have three point megapascal pressure and dropping because the output valve is still open i didn't want to risk blowing up the furnace so i've just had this as a minor test so you guys see that it's working well there you go i hope you liked the today's escapade Thank you very much for watching, hit that like button if you like what I'm doing here and of course press subscribe so that you guys can be following up on the further episodes. But until then, thank you very much for watching, this is Gromfork signing off.